Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to part 18 of my City Living LP here on The Sims 4. So we're back with Vincent in prison and if you didn't see the last episode, Penny came to visit him and you know they were talking for a while and Vincent got pretty angry because he found out that Penny was the one who told the police about Vincent and got him in here. Now, you know, that just made him so, so angry because, you know, Penny was homeless just a couple of uh, episodes ago and, you know, Vincent took him in, they developed a really good relationship and, you know, then they are just moving on to the next steps in their relationship and then all of a sudden, Penny does this out of nowhere well not out of nowhere because she actually got into that room where the remains of those two bodies were and she decided to go to the police because she didn't feel safe around Vincent and she thought it was the best thing to do but really Vincent doesn't think that at all now Penny's life is in a mess again so she kind of feels a little bit you know strange about this because it was kind of well, putting Vincent into prison is kind of ruined her life as well because now she's back um, living in a little trailer in the middle of Oasis Springs. Um, so let's continue with today's episode. Here we have Mason and if you remember um, when uh, Vincent first came into prison, he was one who was like whispering about Vincent as he walked through the door to the others. And you know, he just was kind of insulting him. Mason kind of seems like a bigger person than Vincent does. And you know, Vincent's just shown Vincent that, you know, you really, I mean, <laughs> Vincent's shown Mason that, you know, he really isn't. He's, uh, he was just throwing insults at him all the time and things like that. And you know, Vincent's just shown, I'm not scared of you. Um, you know, Vincent will probably be out here in no time if he can, because remember, this is kind of just like a holding area. He's still got his trial to go to. So, you know. It, it could end up good. Um, so he is having a fight and one of the guards is going to come down here because he shouldn't, you know, they shouldn't be doing this. Um, so let's just take a look at that quickly. There's somebody else watching the fight. They kind of just walk right through it. Um, so let's get the guard to come over here and take a look at this. Um, um, let's see who wins the fight. I probably shouldn't be prom <laughs> promoting violence on my channel, but um, okay. <laughs> so it's, oh my God, my game's frozen again. This is actually the second time I recorded this episode because um, I just got a notification like on my screen just saying the Sims 4 stopped working so I decided to record the whole episode again um anyway so the guard isn't coming down here for some reason I don't know why but he isn't um okay I don't know why he's all the way up here <laughs> I got a teleport down there but it, oh actually Vincent uh won which is great but it's not great at the same time because now um you know he's gonna have to go to the shoe which you know Vincent's a little bit surprised about because he thought it was a really good sim he has this good trait and now he's actually you know well actually seem to be getting on now I don't know if like Mason's like oh that that was nothing really um I don't know if he's just trying to stand up for himself I don't really know so I'm gonna get him to come over here and you know give it uh, tell Vincent to go to the shoe I thought I gave him an introduction for some reason it's not working so let's try that again why are they all just standing here okay there we go so let's try that again I'm just gonna um I don't know, I guess, uh, mm, I don't know, yell at, I suppose, probably give him a telling off and say to go to the shoe. Now, Vincent's case isn't too bad, you know, actually, um, well, it is bad, but, you know, a lot of people don't know about it. Um, it's still, it's very early days. That's why Vincent doesn't have, a, um, like, a uniform here yet, because people, uh, it, his case just doesn't, it's a very strange case. It hasn't really one that's been something like this in a long time, really. Um, so the guards don't really seem too concerned about Vincent. He seems like a good person, and, you know, deep down he is, but he did this out of anger and he didn't really mean it and then that happened oh i sent him to the shoe <laughs> i sent the god to the shoe not vincent so let's try that again so he's just standing in the middle of the hallway again <laughs> um he's gonna have to get there quickly because of the god of the god <laughs> really if the well he's just gonna watch tv he just doesn't care um he's gotta go here um, I'm going to have to turn free will off, I think, because everything seems to get in quite a mess. Um, I'm sorry my camera's going all over the place. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, uh, so is Vincent going there because he needs to? Um, luckily, the guards seen him walking over there, didn't see him going to the TV because, you know, he trusted Vincent. And I hope that trust stays there because, um, you know, he, he wants to, you know, well, why am I saying, you know, like three billion times? I don't know. Well, you know what I mean? <laughs> so he is feeling pretty sad, actually, to be in here. But at the same time, he is pretty confident for winning the fight. But he's literally in, you know, a box of four walls and oh what a mess he's in it isn't it like right over here is the library well it is a library lot but it's not really <laughs> like a motel and um, where he went to escape for a couple of nights after he murdered those two people and you know now he's on the other the other side of the road really and he's in this box stuck and he can't get out it was all really a stupid mistake, like I said, out of anger. He didn't mean it at all. And now he's like, all of this. And it's all Penny's fault. He was a really good sim. He wanted to get Alan's life back on track, which he was trying to do, and now he can't. Luckily, his parents don't know about this, but we'll be hearing more from what Aaron in that household thinks, because tomorrow is visit now, which is great. Um, luckily, Vincent, well, hopefully, Vincent will be able to get out in time so he can actually see his brother. Um, so, yeah, luckily, his parents don't know about this, which is great, because if they did, then that would be an absolute mess. They'll probably have a heart attack or something like that. 
So I'm going to get one of the guards to come over here. He is just working out, but I'm going to have to get him to come and make some because the prisoners are starting to starve and they've got to, he's got to feed them. Um, you know, just frank and beans like the other night. It's nothing special because they are prisoners and criminals at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, so uh, this person over here seemed, you know, like, like, you know, like a nice person actually because when, you know, he first came in, like I said, Mason was, you know, making funny faces at him and, you know, calling names to Vincent and things like that. But this person over here was just smiling all the time. And you know, it kind of reassured Vincent and that this place isn't really that bad, but he's kind of realised that this person is insane. He caught <laughs> he caught her just talking to herself the other day, uh, making up stories and things. So he's a little bit scared now. He thought it was okay at the um, at the start, but as time goes on, he's realised that it isn't it isn't as good. Similarly to his time in San Mai Shuno at the start, he thought he was gonna have a great time, you know, get his life back on track and become a, a you know a really famous singer. Oh my god, <laughs> my game is just frozen again. Okay, so I'm back. We actually lost progress from the start of the episode, but I'm going to continue because I think I'll be able to work around it. Um, so we're back a couple of hours. This, I think it was about 5pm when we ended that episode. Well, we didn't end it. We're just like, you know, I'm just going to save quickly. Um, we didn't end the episode, but you know, it just crashed. So like I was saying before that end of the clip finished, I was saying that, you know, Sam Shuno, he went there to, uh, he went, well, English, he, <laughs> he went there to, you know, uh, become a famous singer and everything and reach his dreams and things but everything just went wrong for him and he just didn't have a good time similarly to how you know his progress of this place has been um so i'm gonna get the guards like i said to go and make some food um let's see what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get him to come and make some frank and beans like i've said they are prisoners after all so nothing too fancy uh wait let's try that again oh that one's going in wait let's make it to wait what is she actually making grilled cheese no don't and of course, she's going to get it out of the fridge, have to go and put it on the floor, then we're going to have to put it in the bin. <laughs> I'll just just cancel the interaction, she still does it all. Um, so let's serve lunch then, same thing I suppose, and just put that in the bin. Actually, we can't because she hasn't prepared it, so just put it on the side of the thing to pile up. Um, so I'm going to get and make this. this. Uh, Vincent is stuck in here and he's a little bit worried now because... Um, well, the confident moodlet has gone because, you know, he's, he's thinking that I shouldn't be confident about this. This is something really bad um, that, you know, he <laughs> fought with someone. Um, so I'm going to get him to maybe just sit here and just think about what he's done. He needs to try, you know, suck up to the gods a little bit tonight because he wants uh, Aaron to come. Uh, because, you know, he's got to try and tell his family about this to hopefully get him out of this somehow. Um, and Aaron seems to have a plan, but Vincent doesn't know about that yet. So um, I'm going to get that to um, happen. Um, there isn't really a whole lot left to do today apart from having this i'm gonna get the guard to come out here and actually um serve this as well like call to meal i know she's got her own thing um she's not gonna take another serving is she because if she does then hmm i don't know so, uh, oh well. So everything seems to be really lagging. What I'm going to do is just pause the recording here and we'll be back a little bit later once something more interesting happens. Okay, so it is a little bit later in the day now and, you know, the guard just said you can go. Um, it is visiting hours now. You know, the guard seems to be kind of good friends with Vincent. Actually, not friends, but, you know, he just kind of trusts him. So he let him out of the shoe early, but, you know, he's just warned him not to do that again. And Aaron is here and, as you can see, he doesn't have a good... Um, a, a smile on his face. He did say to Aaron that I've got some good news and some bad news and the bad news is actually pretty shocking. It is kind of upsetting really and he's just here to tell Vincent that actually um, Par Powell, really? <laughs> Paul and Carol who were their parents has actually passed away and as you can see he's getting up to go away but that's not going to happen because he needs to sit down and find out more about this. He hasn't really like listen to Aaron he just walked away as soon as he heard that like yeah I, I'm not listening to that I don't need this hassle today you know because he just ha isn't having a good time here today so I'm going to get him to um oh my god Mario wants to go out we can't um wait I'm trying to find a good interaction we can do but nothing seems to fit um hang on let's see Ask about dear, I guess that's the closest thing. He just wants, you know, to have a deep conversation with Aaron just to find out more about what's been happening, like what on earth happened. You know, it, it hasn't hit Vincent yet what's actually happened. He's kind of a little bit angry because, and you know, because it was kind of Penny's fault that he is in here. And, uh, oh my God, that's just terrible news, isn't it? Oh, that's my timer. But um, at the same time, Aaron's got some good news as well. Now he's just, once my game actually unfreezes, that might help. Um, is that going to happen today? Anytime soon, really? There we go. Okay, so, you know, Aaron's just kind of feeling it. It's just hard to talk. Um, but, you know, he's just going to tell that I do have some good news as well, which is I actually have a friend who works at the police station who's actually um, in your case, and he's actually going to be able to get you out of it. 
now that's you know kind of making Aaron like what I mean yeah no wait <laughs> that's very convincing like oh what that's absolutely amazing news now you know it still doesn't really hasn't really hidden that well because he's just found out that he's both of these parents just died but at the same time you know he is feeling a little bit hopeful now because oh my god please just sit I need to oh, it's actually getting me really angry <laughs> why are they just walking up everywhere and um, putting autonomy on was a very bad idea because um they just keep doing wanting to go and do their things all the time so get them to go and sit together if they can do that please don't walk all the way to the bed and then okay good so they're gonna go and sit here together okay fine sit on different sides of the table if you want um i'm gonna get vincent to go on the other side so it's a bit easier to have a conversation Um, get them have a deep conversation because you know are you actually oh my god why just why please say he's gonna sit down again Nope, okay, let's try that one more time. Okay, so they're sitting on the same side of the table again. So Vincent and Aaron have been talking for a little while now, and although Vincent is really, really sad, it hasn't actually sunken in yet that his parents have actually passed away. He's actually kind of more angry at um, Penny because, you know, if Penny didn't tell the police about this and they both agreed to keep it quiet, but Penny decided to bring this promise after, you know, she was homeless and Vincent took her in and she just kind of betrayed him in this way. Um, and she's out there living a life. And if it, if Penny didn't say anything, then, you know, uh, Vincent could be spending his last days with his parents and that, well, not his last days, I mean, their last days with his parents. Um, but because of Penny, that hasn't happened. And, you know, Penny doesn't know about this yet. I think Aaron's going to have to go over there and tell him himself because if, Vincent went over there, I think he'd be too, too angry. But at the same time, he kind of wants to see Penny to talk to her about this and just get to the bottom of this, about what everything's been happening. Um, and, you know, he is kind of happy at the same time. So he's kind of got this mixed emotions things of being sad, angry, and kind of happy at the same time because, you know, he's finally being able to get out of prison now because of a brother here who has a connection with a police officer who's working on his case. And he now can get out of prison. Uh, not tonight, but by the next part, he'll be out and hopefully move back in, in his apartment. And we'll see what the next step is for Vincent. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit of a messy one, I suppose. Um, but, you know, it is still pretty eventful because of all these things that have been happening with Vincent. Um, in the next episode, we'll continue you off and see how he is you know his prison life is getting on but you know it hasn't been a long one so he hasn't really had a um a true understanding of what it's like to live here but you know it's, it's kind of been hard for him the short amount of days that he has so if you did enjoy this video please make sure you leave a like in the comment section down below please make sure you leave some thoughts about what you think and some you know future suggestions for this storyline you can use the hashtag ttvcl on the gallery to submit sims and maybe lots if you want to this lp you can follow me on tw twitter and <laughs> i said i don't even know what i was going to say twitter my username on there is real thomas tv1 there's a link down below to that and you can follow me on the sims immuno app or the x over sims x immuno my username on both of those is thomas and you can find out more information about coming up uh, my videos coming up so i hope you enjoyed also make sure you you give this video a share and subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you all next time bye